these trailers here. Here we are at the livestock auction. Uh, let's see. It doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to park in here. This is really crazy busy. I did not expect this. Hi everyone, this is Amelia Perrin. I am AWHC's investigations manager. As part of my job, I run the investigation into the adoption incentive program, uh, where we track, me and my team of amazing volunteers track horses every day or BLM animals in kill pens. Tonight, I am actually here at the Eugene Livestock Auction. I'm here to check out the loose horse sale. Um, and this is where, unfortunately, a lot of kill buyers will buy their horses. A lot of these loose horses that are going to be run through are older or injured or people just no longer want them or need them. So they dump them here at the auction where then they can be bought up. I know there's two pens of horses. There's a gelding pen and a mare pen. Um, so I'm going to try to get some video of that before the auction starts at seven. We're going to see if there's any Mustangs here. Um, that, you know, we wouldn't have been able to document as going through the Adoption Incentive Program. This is a BLM donkey. These are two BLM donkeys right here. So these are two donkeys that are going to go through Loose Horse. You can see this one's got a brand. So does that one. We're dealing with a really bad situation right now where there's no rescues to, to be able to handle this influx of BLMs in, in the slaughter auction. We're expecting many more to be shipping across the border just because there's no one to save them. This sucks. <laughs> this really sucks. Um, the agency knows what's happening with the adoption center program. Um, they're not doing anything about it. Uh, they refuse to like, even acknowledge the evidence that we're showing. I just got home from the auction. Um, it's like, it's 11 p.m. It's very late. It was a long day. Um, I wanted to go to show you the, the reality that so many of both, you know, our beloved wild horses and what our domestics go through because it was really hard. Um, it was really chaotic. It was really sad. Um, the way they were treating these horses, just it wasn't, it wasn't humane. It was obvious that the, the horses were a commodity and not a partner. I was just expecting to go and document and say what happened. Um, but I was walking around and I actually found two BLM donkeys, um, two adorable bonded burros. So <laughs> I called a bunch of people and emergency executed a rescue and I waited until the very last minute and the auctioneer was like talking so fast this is my first time at a live auction I didn't know what to expect and I've never bid before so I rushed to the office registered to bid and um it was so hectic I knew I looked into their eyes and they were so scared I knew we had to save them and I'm so grateful to be at an organization and work with other organizations um like Montgomery Creek Ranch and Sky Dog Sanctuary who all come together um and and stepped up for these these two burrows and so uh I waited all night they went last and um, the auctioneer was just yelling and I was bidding against someone and I was bidding uh, fast and furious, but I won the two burrows. Um, we saved them. I am rejoicing in the, the little bit of comfort that I have that we got to save um, these two um, with the help of Montgomery Creek Ranch and Sky Dog Sanctuary. So I think this really exemplifies that together we're stronger and together we can take on this fight it is a tough one it's taxing it's emotional it i mean it's tough but it's so worth it for these little victories that all are going to lead to a bigger victory i have the titles for these burrows so I am now going to cross-reference them against all my records and my documents to see if they're adopted through the Adoption Incentive Program. They're unhandled, so I'm guessing they are, and they come in a pair. Um, if I don't have them already documented in my database, 
um, I am going to submit a Freedom of Information Act request to find out uh, if they're adopted through the Adoption Incentive Program and if they're going to join the hundreds of horses we've documented going to kill pens as a result of the AIP um, or, you know, slaughter auctions. So, yeah, uh, this was a really hard night. It was really heartbreaking as a horse lover to watch so many of those horses um, end up in fates that I don't, I don't know what's going to happen to them. But again, I'm really grateful that we were all able to come together and, and save save these two guys. It's these little moments that, that make my job so, so worth it. I'm just really grateful that we were able to, to get these guys safe. Um, so thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for standing alongside us. Thank you for taking action to get rid of these cash incentives that are sending droves of wild horses and burrows into the slaughter pipeline. Um, thank you for taking action to get the SAFE Act passed or, or reintroduced in Congress. That is so essential to preventing um, these horses that I saw today. Um, from going to slaughter, from being shipped across the border to slaughter. Um, so just thank you and um, let's celebrate this little victory. It may be little in the grand scheme of things, but it means everything to these, to these burrows. They're going to have such a good life now and I'm just so, so grateful that we could do it. Hi, babies. On Monday, we were finally able to load the two burrows up where they are going to a layover stall until they're able to go up to Three Sisters Equine for quarantine. Uh, we've named them Poppy and Cosmo. A huge thank you again to everyone that's come together. Montgomery Creek Ranch, Sky Dog Sanctuary, Three Sisters Equine Refuge, and just everyone that, that answered the call. We know they're going to have an amazing life and we're really excited to watch them flourish. Thank you again to everyone. We will definitely keep you updated.